Hey, welcome back to another episode of Achromatic Craft. I'm Cube Prospector, and last time you guys probably remember us working on this farmhouse for Farmer Tom. Yeah, we got him a new building in there. We got a sh some sheep for him. I didn't know what to put in there last time. You see, I added that little tree, and I added some sheep, some white, dark gray, and light gray. Figured he might have some of every color. But guys, we're going to keep working in this area today. You might be getting a little hint over my shoulder over there. Let's go check it out. Okay, so what I was hinting at is I actually put in another little house. I'm not sure what, whose it's going to be. I'll have to figure out kind of how that goes in. But between episodes, I started trying to build out this area more. Add another one of those cherry blossom trees like we have over there. Added a few different pine trees. And then some of the uh, walls in here next to this house. I even built a little bit of an actual area to tie up my horse. I've just been kind of tying them up in random spots. So now we have a dedicated place. That's not all I did. I started trying to plan out what our next build would be. And you're going to see a mess here. So essentially the cobblestone here is where I'm thinking our road's going to go. It's going to wander through here. Um, what the mud blocks represent is where I might add an extra field. And so we're going to have to rip out some of what we've already done. But I thought it might be kind of cool to do a split build here. So this could be one type of, of thing we're growing, and this could be another one. And then just have a little bit of like a grassy area. So we might put an extra tree here, give it a little more interest. But this path is going to come up. And maybe we might stick a little well here or something. And then my idea is all this white is going to be a stables area. I'm going to try and go pretty big. So this part will probably end up being kind of almost more like a barn. So some inside stables with maybe a loft on it. And then over here would be where we could put some of our, our best horses, the ones we really like. But then I also want an area where the horses can roam free. And one thing I don't know, so far I've put kind of a board down here, like I was going to put a fence. But I'm actually wondering, do horses cross water? Because if they don't, we could actually leave this open so it looks like we can come down, take a drink, stay in their area. And so we're going to have a couple different areas here. And then you'll see, I'm going to put a lot of trees. And really the idea of why I want to put so many trees is that we kind of start blocking out this big green and brown hill over here. And then we can really keep kind of this view of the grayscale this way. So you'll see I've layered in quite a few trees. It's going to be a lot of work. We're going to do a lot there, but we can put those in pretty quick. We've got another mud farm, or sorry, more mud for a farm area here. And then I'm going to stick a tree kind of right in the middle of that. And then over here, um, at least where my brain is going, is I'd love to have something that almost resembles a little house with, uh, well, I don't know what they're called, the wheels, the water wheels, here on the side. I don't know if we'll bring water down from the top, maybe we'll. This could be like a little pond area, and then it waterfalls down the side here, right into the lake down there. That's at least my idea. That's going to be a couple episodes. I'm not going to try and do this all in one day. But today I would like to see how much of the place for the horses, the stables here that we can get done. Because I'd like to move them out so that we can work on this area too. That's where our crane's going to go and where like the different materials come up. We're going to work on that in a future episode as well. So as you can see, we have lots of cool projects coming and I'm excited for them. So let's stop talking and let's start building. The first thing I want to do is get this stables in. So let me clear some of this land. Let's get a build up and see what you think. And through the magic of video editing, we have this place done. Well, I shouldn't say done. I'm still working on the inside. But guys, we're getting there. We're, I've got a little final decorations to do here. But now that we got that in, so essentially what we're going to do is have some of our best horses. I don't know, maybe this is like where we breed our horses. Not quite sure what it's going to be. We've got at least the main barn area. We can put some stuff upstairs if we need to. 
but now that I say that, I'm pretty sure I didn't put a ladder in here. <laughs> so we'll have to figure that part out. Um, we got some main stables over here. My idea here is that all of these are going to be kind of where we keep our best horses. Or the horses that we ride on a regular basis. So this will be a little place. I don't know if I should divide this up. Still something I'm trying to figure out is should I divide it up so that the horses stay apart or do I keep them all in one big one? So I gotta figure that out. You can see it kind of starts lining up with the way we're going to do the pen here. It'll come up, get divided off this corner of the house. There's a few more pens back here if we need. A, a last one. This one I thought less about putting stuff animals in here and more storage. But got to get this. As you can see, I always do floors last. So I got to come in here, get all this dug out. And then figure out what's actually going to be in here. Um, took some inspiration from a barn that I saw. And hopefully it'll work out. And then we've got some extra pens here. What I liked about that inspiration is there's just lots of different places to keep horses. Um, I... I'm going to try and do as much as I can in this city without using Elytra. And so horses and getting fast horses are going to be key for us. But that is how quick we did that. So now what I want to do is figure out a design for the walls. I don't know if I'm going to do the same walls we've done over here. Or if we're going to try something different. But let me start figuring that out and we'll be right back. Alright guys, I had to record this part. These guys don't come around here that often, doesn't seem like. Well, look what he's got. Mangrove. I have no clue if we're actually going to use that, but I feel like I've at least got to buy a couple of them from him. We might be able to make the trees spawn, like in a swamp, and then grayify them. Just by replacing all the leaves and the blocks and stuff. But I had to get those because I have not found a swamp that has mangroves in them. So I just wanted to show you that this guy came around. Thank you, guy. And now, let's say goodbye to him. We'll do that off camera. All right, and before we could get to the that fence around, we had to get a little of the terraforming done, and I may have gone a little overboard. We got a whole bunch of these pathways in, started to try and get a lot of the grass infestation done. We got it kind of wrapped around here. There's still some beach areas I need to take care of. Oops, looks like we haven't got the inside of that one done. We got some of the inside here. I've wrapped it around. As you can see, a lot of my pathways haven't been all the way put in yet. We got this wrapped around going to the windmill. Oh, and that horse wants my golden carrot. So we're getting pretty close. We are going to now just put in some of this, um, some of this pathway. This again, like I do everywhere else, tends to just be pretty random. I don't try and do anything too crazy. Just want it to look like it's kind of worn down over time. And that's really all I'm doing for these transitions is kind of putting a few different blocks in here, making it look a little worn down. Not too hard, not doing anything special here now, I'd love to know down in the comments how do y'all do your kind of transitions when it's something like this do you like to go nice and straight so it looks clean or do you do kind of these bumped up versions this is how I do it I think it looks pretty good and I think it kind of fits for the style we're going I think when we start doing kind of over in our modern district which yes that's a sneak peek into what I'm hoping to do in the future is I want to have over there a lot more crisp, clean, nice, um, nice roads. But here where it's more medieval style, it's kind of this farming style. We want it to be pretty worn down and, and run down out here. So that's what we're going to do there. And then just like we've done everywhere else, we're going to start putting in have our secondary path blocks that we've been using here. Uh, we don't want too much of the cobblestone. We'll stick a few of these in here. That's looking pretty good. Then let's sprinkle in the tuff real quick. 
We did this in a time lapse last time. But as you can see, we don't even really need to do a time lapse. This goes in really quick. And with this one, I'm, I'm trying to keep it mostly this tough block. I don't want to go too crazy on um, the other blocks because we use them more out here. But am I going to have enough? Oh, yeah. Two more. All right, we can sprinkle a few out here. So this maybe blends just a little bit nicer. I don't think I have any more. Nope, in my inventory. But I like this. It's going to give us a way that it looks like we've come in to the horses on a regular basis. I did decide I'm going to put a wall in here. There can be three different horse pens there. Then we could even put their names above it, maybe. But then I'll look like we're riding in here on a regular basis. These are coming in and out. Are you serious? Another one of these guys? We just barely saw it. We just barely have one over there. And we get two. That's like two in... I don't know, 10 or 15 minutes. That's crazy. But doesn't look like we have anything here other than maybe your llamas. Might want the white one. So we'll take care of that. We'll get his llama here in just a minute. But next we're going to work on getting some of these trees in. Now those trees take me a minute, so I'm going to do a few of them off camera and then we'll come back. And some of you may have been wondering, how do I get resources? Well, if you haven't seen, this is where my beacon's at down here. And I've been cutting out a perimeter that goes all the way around. So as you can imagine, that is a lot of resources. We've gotten a bunch of cobble deep slate, some regular deep slate, and tough. So what's great about this level that I'm on, as you can see, there are different patches of the tough, of the gravel. Here's another tough. It's easy to get. Like, I was worried when I started using the tough that I wouldn't be able to find it. You can see these pockets are huge. That's really not a big deal to get these resources. We just come down here, kind of grind out different areas, and say, here's even more of that tough. So easy to get. And, oh, and we even have some gravel. So I'll keep coming down here when I need it, clear these out. The biggest thing I'm realizing is I need shulker boxes. I wasn't planning on going to the end for a while, but we might be doing it. I need those shulker boxes. Let's go up and get our landscaping done. Okay, and before we start, we're back up here about ready to get this fence in. You can see I've got them all prepped here. Before I do that, I wanted to just kind of show you the trees. We went with some that are a little taller, some on the medium side, some short ones, even a willow looking tree here. So we didn't do anything too fancy, mainly because this is going to operate more as a backdrop. We might eventually stick uh, some lighter color trees in here. But for now, we've got that. And down here, I've used some of our light gray wool to pretend like it's the sand. We put some muddy areas in, mainly just to make it feel a little more transitioned here at the bottom. We've got that in. We still need a fix, fix kind of uh, the riverbank upstream a little of what we blew in, but that's okay. So now let's jump into a time lapse and get these walls in. Let's go. And just like that, we've got those in. I think we've done pretty well. There might be a few spots we need to fix up over time and probably need to put some gates in here. But I've left these openings. You can see where the path's going to come. We're actually going to build a little bit of a entryway. We're just going to do something simple. I just take some fence like this. We can probably just do it real quick here. I was thinking like, I don't know, three up. 
and across. Let's see how that looks down here. Yep, just like that. Not going to do anything fancy. We just want to kind of give the indication of where you bring the horses in. So let me get these pathways in, and then we're going to go over and start bringing the horses in. Let's do that. All right, the horses we're going to start with first. Like we're clear back over here in the original city. We gathered a lot of white horses up at the beginning of the season. I think we've got black one in there too. A couple black ones. We haven't really done much with, so we're going to move these guys over. So let's get our axe out here. I'm going to open up a little spot. You guys finally have a home after all these months. So let's get them. I'm going to lead on all of them. This might be harder than I thought. Do I, got, do I have all of them? Oh, we missed one. We get all of them. All right. I don't think I've ever led this many horses at one time. We're going to take them back, so let's take them over there real quick. Okay, and just like that, we got them in there. It takes a little bit longer. And we have two sides here. Eventually, we're going to put half of these guys that are the bad ones over there. No, the bad ones over here, and then the ones we want to breed over there. But for now, we'll just kind of let them be. Let them be here. See where they go. I'm, I'm actually interested to see if any of them can get out. And if they do, where they go. We'll leave those guys in there and let's get these other ones in. All right, guys, and we got those horses all in here. A lot more than I thought I had. We'll have to see which ones are good. We'll test them out, but we're going to get them all figured out. We'll get the good ones and the bad ones on different sides. And then we're actually going to move the really good ones up here in the front. We've got a couple that I've been riding, like this guy. There's another one over there. We've got them kind of pulled out, but I want to see which ones are our best horses. And we're going to use those. But y'all, that is it for today. We did a lot. We got this barn put in. Oh, looks like one of our guys came off their lead. Um, we got the barn in. We got a whole bunch of trees in, landscaping, and move the horses. We can start clearing out some of those other spots where we've been keeping these horses. But that is going to be it for our farm. We'll start getting some other decorations around here. You can see we still need to put the grasses in. But that is it for today. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.